Hey guys, what's uh, going on? It's your boy J Dame here. I'm uh, battling a cold right now. That's why I sound like I am uh, pretty much dead inside. But uh, today we're going to look over my helmet setup. Uh, at first you're probably thinking, wow, that's probably the ghettoest piece of shit I've ever seen. And I, I won't lie, I'll be like, yeah, it's, it's pretty ghetto. Because um, I had a homemade some stuff here. See, because I got some... Uh, Cords in the strap right there, strapping it on. But uh, yeah, let's go into it. So this is just a normal bump helmet, man. I really wish I had a lazy Susan. This is like perfect for that right now. But uh, it's a normal bump helmet with uh, some goggles. The goggles, giggles, giggly gooses. You know, just the basics that runs the back of my helmet. And what keeps that uh, attached to my helmet is this. Um, it's like this molded cover that you put on top of your helmet. You can get it off of uh, any airsoft store. It's it's really cheap. You put it on there, it gets that nice tactical look to the helmet, which I uh, like. And uh, yeah, so on the back here, this is the big monstrosity. I actually just got a GoPro, it's a Session 5. And I'm gonna attach it to the front of my helmet right here. That's why I have the cord that's actually a power cord to a battery saver in the back of my helmet right here. Uh, I think it's like up to good, up to like six hours, which is um, pretty good. I bought it for about uh, 20 bucks. Pretty cheap, but hey, it gets the job done. I didn't really have a case for this. I didn't know what those little bags are that you put on the back of the helmets. You know what I'm talking about? I had no idea what those were. So I had to like, kind of had to engineer my uh, own back pad, back helmet pouch, you would say. Uh, you're probably wondering, well, gee, what is that? Well, actually, it's this right here. It's just a normal mag pool or just a normal mag pouch that I flipped over as in I, uh, try to it here separated right here and I just laid it over like that since the velcro attached to the top of the helmet right here and uh, it actually works pretty well it um, no joke it looks a little tactical too which I like about it and it's free and you know it's kind of my own design which I uh, you know just it just looks nice to me I like it. it's nice look it's not the cleanest looking helmet but hey I'll get the job done then I uh, got some uh, God, I can't think of those right now. Those cordings that I attached to a uh, shotgun. It's like a uh, mullet strap. Just one strand of it. I put it on the back of the helmet and I strapped it on there. So it's, it's pretty uh, secure, actually. It's a pretty secure helmet. I won't have to worry about stuff moving off and whatnot. On the uh, left side of my helmet here, I got a, a tactical flashlight. It's a pretty standard flashlight. Let me look around so you guys can get the brand of this. I usually put this on my uh, pistols or whatnot, but... Uh, you know, it's pretty standard, gets the job done, and I had a little rail mount to the side of my helmet. You know, you never know when you just need normal light. You know, that's kind of where it comes in, pretty helpful in the field. Especially when it comes to CQB night games or full off, full light off games at our normal CQB play. Yeah, CQB. Man, I can't talk, my throat is killing me. But uh, yeah, so then I had a uh, extra strap right here. I had a spot there and a spot here, so I uh, put in a, a really odd-looking glow stick for lights. So during my light games, my team knows that I'm a friendly and whatnot. It uh, also make it flicker, too. And, uh, you know, I, I think I look like a unicorn because it kind of sticks up like that. It looks pretty ghetto, but, uh, hey, you know, airsoft is airsoft, and you got to do what you got to do to make it fun. You know, it's supposed to be a fun sport, and uh, I think this is fun. I like how everything came together. I like how uh, everything kind of pieces pretty well, and I enjoy that. If you guys know where I can find those back helmet pouches that usually go back here for a GoPro accessories or just anything in general, that would be really helpful. And, uh, yeah, guys, hopefully I will get some recorded gameplay this week. And, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Please leave a like, and uh, see you guys later.